Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion node breakdown. Today's node is the particle change style node. So we're going to jump into Fusion and we're going to use kind of yesterday's setup to demonstrate this change style. So what I'm going to do so we can show this a little easier before I just highlight real quick how we made this real fast effect. And believe me, it is super quick. There's nothing special about it. We're going to uh, I'm going to take all this and I'm just going to move it on over. I'm going to get rid of this first and let's add a background. So we can see what's going on. Let's move this over. All right. So we have a simple emitter with a directional force on it. And the emitter is just using uh, lines and blobs with color over life size set to like four with a size variance of two. And we're going to add in a uh, void. So let's just bring in a uh, background with this. And we will uh, create a little avoidance area here. And we're going to plug that into our void. Plug that into our void. So now we've got our particles uh, avoiding our little uh, rectangle we created here. Now, what if we wanted to say when these particles hit, we want them to maybe break apart or change particles or be a different particle or something we can do that with the uh, particle change style node. And what this does is it gives you a condition that once it enters the condition, what does the particle do? So we're going to bring in a particle change style. So it's just space P change style node. And on the node itself, we have style, so we can select a new style. We have conditions, which is the probability of it happening. And then we have regions, but notice our region mode is back to our regional region mode where we have what happens when it enters that region and uh, our region type of all Bezier bitmap or uh, whatever we're using. And since we used a bitmap on our other node, our avoid node, we want to use the same bitmap to affect the change. So we're going to change it to bitmap and we're going to input our original uh, little rectangle in there. So now once it enters this area, it's going to change the style to whatever we tell it to be. So let's change our style and let's change it to say point cluster and let's give it right now. Let's, let's go ahead and uh, let's do our end guns like we were uh, doing before like we did in our uh, example. So I'm going to bump this up to say two. So they're big and let's just give it three sides. And let's just change our color and we'll say it's going to be a uh, red when it hits. So if you look at our little merge node here and play it back, you can see nothing's really happening because we need to go into this P change style into the region and change our region mode. So right now it's set to ignore region. So we can have when intersecting region. So when it actually goes through the region or hits into the region, it's going to change. We can have when it's inside the actual region. So any particles that go through the region and uh, anytime you're making these changes, make sure you're saving off because this node has a habit of shutting your program down. We have when not intersecting the region. So if it's not, it's going to be a, our changed node. When not inside the region, we have when entering the region. And a lot of times this is the one that works the best, but you notice it's not, not too much is happening. So what we can do to change that is we can take in erode and dilate node. Let's 
and we can input that and then go from here to this and we can change our size a little bit so it looks like it's affecting that a little more so you can just keep dialing your road and dilate up until you're hitting those particles you want to change as they hit so now when we play as those particles hit they're changing into our new little uh particle types and uh, as far as the style goes you have all the same style as your other particle nodes like when we change our style for all the particles you can do uh, over life you can color variants you can change whatever you need to change the only thing you don't have control over is creating more particles so we can't change with this node we can't take this and create five more particles that break off and go this node doesn't allow you to do this. It only allows you to change the style of existing particles. So back to our example. And this is pretty much the same as yesterday's example where we had our resized media coming in with our emitter. And let me rewind that. And there isn't multiple emitters on there. There's just one. And we had our directional force. Then we had our P change style to change it to little blue stars when it hits our uh, actress. And you can see there is an erode dilate node on here to make it a little larger. And then our bitmap that we used as our mask. Eroded and dilated, blurred and used on our merge channels. And after a void in our render, we just added a blur, a glow into our merge channels to get our final look. So that is the particle change style node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.